so much to anyone who voted for this award. I heart, you've also just been so incredibly supportive over the course of my entire career, but um, especially this year has been pretty spectacular. I am so grateful for that. Um, you know, to the fans, it's completely up to you to choose how you spend your time, what concerts you want to go to, what music you want to make the soundtrack to your life. And to anyone who has included me in those choices, I'm so, so, so thankful for that. And, um, you know, we have so many exciting things ahead of us. I'm continuing on with the tour. And most importantly, I have a brand new album called The Tortured Post Department, which comes out on April 19th. And I'm so proud of it. I can't wait to share it with you. So thank you for voting for me for this incredible honor, Artist of the Year. I am so blown away and so thankful. And um, I just can't wait to keep having fun with you guys because we have a lot of exciting things coming up. Thank you so much. Taylor Swift is beginning National Poetry Month as the Artist of the Year for the iHeartRadio Music Awards. Swift was up for nine awards, and she took home three Pop Artist of the Year, Artist of the Year ADN Tour of the Year. While the pop icon, 34, skipped making a live appearance at the 2024 iHeartRadio Music Awards on Monday, April 1, at the Dolby Theater Los Angeles, she did send a heartfelt video message to her fans amid her immense success. We have so many exciting things ahead of us. Most importantly, I have a brand new album which comes out on April 19th. I'm so proud of it. I can't wait to share it with you, she gushed while accepting heiress of the year. Thanks for voting for me for this honor. I am so blown away and so thankful, Swift's virtual appearance at the ceremony comes off the heels of her time off with her boyfriend, Travis Kelsey. As okay. Previously reported, the power couple was caught by photographers packing on the PDA, the Karma vocalist and the NFL star, had been planning to travel before Swift releases her highly anticipated album, The Tortured Poets Department, on Friday, April 19. They can finally rest and intend on spending quality time together and with friends and family, an insider claimed about the pair, I got to see two amazing shows of the era's tour. The last of the leg that Taylor has until she's back at it here in a couple months, Kelsey revealed during an episode of his New Heights podcast about visiting Swift during the international leg of her tour. Outside of that, got to eat some lovely Singapore food and just catch the views. Everything over there just seems so nice, Australia did not disappoint. It was amazing over there. I only went to Sydney, it was a beautiful city, he recalled. When I landed in Australia, there were full-on helicopters just flying around. Yeah they helicoptered us, well not us, Taylor. This is all because Taylor is the biggest and the best thing possible.